Uh, have you ever wondered how nuclear power plants, these colossal structures, generate electricity? Well, the answer lies in the heart of atoms, specifically the nucleus of an atom of uranium. This tiny particle, invisible to the naked eye, harbors the potential to create an enormous amount of energy. Imagine harnessing the power of a small amount of uranium, about the size of a sugar cube. That little cube can produce as much energy as 17,000 tons of coal. Yes, you heard that right. It's a testament to the remarkable efficiency of nuclear power plants. Compared to traditional power sources, nuclear power stands out. It's like having a mini sun on Earth, producing energy around the clock. It's a marvel of human ingenuity, a testament to our ability to harness the fundamental forces of nature. The process of generating electricity from nuclear energy is quite fascinating. Let's delve into it. The heart of a nuclear power plant is its reactor, where a process called nuclear fission happens. Imagine a bustling city with people going about their daily lives. Now imagine that city is actually a single uranium atom, the nucleus being the city centre. Suddenly, an unassuming stranger arrives, a neutron. This neutron, though small, carries a significant amount of energy. As it collides with the uranium nucleus, it disrupts the city's balance, causing it to split into two smaller cities, or in our case, two smaller atoms. This split, or fission, releases a tremendous amount of energy, but the story doesn't end there. The process also ejects more neutrons, which are like the original neutron, full of energy and ready to cause more fission. These newly released neutrons can then collide with other uranium atoms, causing them to split and release even more energy. This creates a domino effect, or as we in the scientific community call it, a chain reaction. Each fission event leads to more fission events, each releasing more energy and more neutrons. It's a self-sustaining process that can continue indefinitely or until there are no more uranium atoms left to split. Now, you might be thinking, if this process is self-sustaining, wouldn't it just run out of control? Well, that's where the genius of nuclear power plants comes in. They are designed to control this chain reaction. By using control rods, which absorb some of the neutrons, the rate of the chain reaction can be adjusted. By absorbing enough neutrons, the chain reaction can even be stopped entirely. This controlled chain reaction releases a steady stream of energy. The energy is primarily in the form of heat, which can be used to produce steam. This steam can then be used to drive turbines, which generate electricity. And there you have it. From a neutron striking a uranium atom, to the release of energy and the creation of a chain reaction, this is the intricate dance that happens at the heart of every nuclear power plant. This chain reaction, if controlled, can produce a steady stream of energy. This is the principle behind a nuclear power plant. This generated energy doesn't directly become electricity. It goes through a process of conversion. Now let's dive into the intricate dance of transformation that takes place in a nuclear power plant. The energy released from the nuclear fission process is primarily in the form of heat. This heat akin to the fiery breath of a dragon, is harnessed to heat water. But this is no ordinary boiling pot on a stovetop. The water is contained within a network of pipes, and the heat from the nuclear reactor is so intense that it transforms this water into steam. This steam, now under high pressure, is used to spin a turbine. Picture an enormous windmill, but instead of wind, it's steam that's doing the work. This turbine isn't just spinning for the sheer joy of it, though. Attached to the turbine is a generator, a marvel of engineering that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Inside the generator, you'll find a magnet and a conductor. The turbine spins the magnet at a high speed within the conductor. Now you might remember from your high school physics class that moving a magnet near a conductor induces an electric current. That's exactly what's happening here. The electricity produced in the generator is then transmitted to the grid. From there it goes on a journey, flowing like a river through cables and wires until it reaches cities, towns and homes. It powers everything, from the tiny LED on your charging phone to the massive machinery in factories. In essence, the nuclear power plant is like a giant kettle that uses nuclear fission to boil water. The steam from this kettle spins a turbine, which in turn powers a generator. The generator then produces electricity, illuminating our world and powering our lives. So the heat from nuclear fission gets transformed into mechanical energy and finally into electrical energy.
It's a complex process, but it's this intricate dance of transformation that enables us to harness the mighty power of the atom for peaceful purposes. Running a nuclear power plant isn't just about generating power. Safety is a paramount concern. You see, the very process that makes nuclear power possible, the chain reaction, needs to be minutely controlled. And that's where the safety measures come in. Picture a bunch of control rods like diligent sentinels absorbing excess neutrons to ensure the chain reaction doesn't spiral out of control. These rods are a power plant's first line of defense, their task to keep the mighty power of the atom in check. But it doesn't stop there. We also have containment structures, formidable fortresses designed to keep radioactive materials from escaping into the environment. These structures are built to withstand the worst-case scenarios from earthquakes to direct impacts, ensuring that the power generation process remains a boon, not a bane. While nuclear power plants have their challenges, they play a pivotal role in our energy infrastructure. So, what have we learned about nuclear power plants today? We've dived deep into the heart of these engineering marvels, unraveling the mystery of nuclear power. We've discovered the intricate process of nuclear fission, where the nucleus of an atom is split into two smaller parts, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. This energy is not just left to roam free, oh no, it's harnessed and converted into electricity, powering our homes, our offices and our cities. Just think about it, the power of an atom lighting up your world. But we also learned that with great power comes great responsibility. The safety measures in place at these power plants are paramount. They ensure that the process of energy conversion is not just efficient, but also safe, protecting not only the workers, but also the environment. Nuclear power plants are complex, but their principle is simple. Harness the power of the atom to light up our world.